What's up guys, it is Android at night and I'm just setting up my Galaxy Note 2 for some more reviews and I thought I'd quickly run you guys through all the wallpapers and all the live wallpapers you get stock on this device uh, just while I'm waiting for everything else to install so it's going to go into wallpapers we'll look at the stock wallpapers to start with so we've got this feather one which you've seen on the lock screen we've got another feather one which is just two side by side. The same one from the Galaxy S which is the uh, dandelion clock. A fairly fairly boring ripple one. And a water droplet that actually looks quite nice. It doesn't look as nice on camera but it's actually quite a warm one um, on the Super AMOLED display. Uh, I'll just go back. No, home button. And we'll have a quick look at the live wallpapers that you have on offer. So the first one we've got up here is Bubbles which again I think was on the Galaxy S3. And as you can see, that just makes some bubbles as you move around to generate more. No, it doesn't generate anymore, so that's just some bubbles. But they look kind of nice. Again, it pops quite a lot because the screen has really good con. Oh, no, live wallpapers has really good contrast. Next, we've got Deep Sea, and I really need to turn off this bloody irritating tone whenever you touch the screen. Um, this is again the one we've seen. I think you can normally interact with these. Okay, you can't on this one, but normally you can interact with the bubbles. Um, but this one does look quite nice. It's one of my favourite ones that comes stock. Next, it's got luminous dots, which again was on the Galaxy S3. And as you can see, that just sort of chills in the background. It doesn't interact, but it's got some quite cool. It doesn't even seem to be live at the moment. Oh, no, there we go, so it sort of gently fades in and out. That's quite a nice one. And I imagine that would be quite good on your old battery life. Uh, what else have we got? We've got news wall. Which is, oh, these are really nice, except they have this irritating Yahoo logo. If they didn't have the Yahoo logo, I might use these. Uh, but I'm not going to bother setting that up now, but you've all seen that on the S3. Phase beam, this is a pretty good one. This is probably my favourite of these stock ones. Can I remember these scrolling on the S3. Maybe um, I'll have to look into that, but they don't seem to be scrolling at the moment. Uh, a couple of others, we've got Photo Wall, which um, does a slideshow of all your photos, but there's no photos on this yet. Uh, ripple Wall, which is really irritating as it makes a noise. And there doesn't seem to be any way to turn that off um, within the live wallpaper. Stop it. Uh, -hoo -hoo, what else we've got? Stock Wall, which is the same as the news one, but just stocks. And then Windy Weather, which again is really nice, except it has this bloody weather information from AccuWeather watermark in the top which pretty much renders it unusable because it just looks horrible under the Google look. You can't really see it on the screen. Put it a little bit closer. You can see it's got that horrible shadow watermark under the search bar. But um, apart from that, it's quite nice life wallpaper. The animation is not bad and it sort of shows you your live, your live weather, which you can't really complain about. But yeah, guys, that's the uh, wallpapers and live wallpapers on the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, please stay tuned. Please subscribe if you haven't seen them before. I'm going to have loads of uh, Galaxy Note 2 videos. If there's anything you particularly want to see, just drop me a comment and I will try and uh, oblige. But yeah, hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ra!